It's become known as the enemy in the bodybuilder community, the protein myostatin that our bodies use to break down muscle. Animals and rare people lacking myostatin are extraordinarily muscular, and it's hoped that drugs that block it could help treat muscular dystrophy. But researchers at the University of Michigan have found that myostatin is needed to promote the growth of tendons, the tissue that connects muscle to bone. There's been a great deal of interest in muscle, but uh, this was the first study that uh, indicated that it had a very different action in, uh, in tendon. John Faulkner and Chris Mendias compared normal mice to mice that lack myostatin. They wrote in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences that myostatin-deficient mice had much more muscle mass, but their tendon mass was only half of normal. That's troubling because bigger muscles need bigger tendons, and the researchers say steroids likely work the same way. So because athletes who take steroids, their, their muscles get bigger, but that signal for the tendons to get bigger isn't present, that's why these athletes are more prone to actually rupture their tendons. It may actually lead to a career-ending injury if your tendon ruptures. They say the finding is a disappointment to those hoping to treat muscle-wasting diseases, as well as another strike against any artificial muscle builders. I'm Brad Closa.